Ruffer is getting ready to have another one of their 40% off sales. And I know I've done a lot of Ruffer videos. If you watch any of my videos over the last two and a half, three years, so pretty much most of my YouTube channel career, you know that I love Ruffer brushes. And so today I'm just gonna go really quick go over some of my recommendations for the 40% off sale at ruffer.com. Hey everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lisa Monique, where we cover all things beauty and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. So I do want to start and say this is not a sponsored video. However, I am an affiliate with, I was going to say it in quotes, but it's not really quotes. It's, I am an affiliate uh, with Ruffer. So if you do use my links down in the description box below, I do make a small commission on the purchases. Having said that, you can also just go straight to ruffer.com and shop and take advantage of the 40% off sale. I love Ruffer and the brushes, and I have pretty much all of them. In fact, actually, Ruffer does send me some of their new brushes that they're testing out, which I'm really excited um, about. I'm doing some of their foundation brushes now. I can't wait for them to hit the market. Okay, I'm going to go really uh, quick over my favorite Ruffer products. These are my ride or die. These are the ones that I have talked about pretty much since, well, I can't say since the beginning because some of them are newer, but these are just the products that I really love and really um, find quite unique over other makeup brush brands. Okay, first one is the eyelash curler. You know, I love my Ruffer eyelash curler. It comes with five replacement pads and it is just a little bit wider, so I don't have to go halfway this way, halfway this way. I can get my entire eyelid in one fell swoop. Curls my lashes really great. I do it at the base, then in the middle, and then at the tip. So I go boom, boom, boom. Love it. Now my next couple of brushes tend to sell out. So I would definitely go over there as soon as you can to see if they are still in stock. And my three favorite brushes that I use all the time are the number 33, it is a wide, soft eyeshadow brush. It is my one and done eyeshadow brush. It's so super soft. It really picks up your eyeshadow pigment. It's beautiful for just doing a nice swoop of color with your mid-tone color. And then you can really get in with your um, outer corner shade and really press it in. And it is that perfect third, or at least for my eye, it is that perfect one third, outer third of my eye width. So when I'm packing it in, I'm getting it where I need it and not where I don't need it. Love it. The other favorite, longtime favorite, the number 32, and this is their concealer brush. I love the size of it. It's more dense bristles and I love uh, the shape with the curve. This is so perfect for me for getting up into this area. This is where I get a little bit darker when I do have dark circles, if I don't get enough sleep or um, if I'm just feeling like I don't look as bright and chipper as I'd like to, this area right here is where I need to brighten up with my concealer. And this brush is the perfect place. Also, if I do get a little messy blending out my eyeshadow and I tend to get sometimes um, the dark transition shade, you know, too far into the eye, this is a great one for cleaning up that area too. So it's just the perfect, perfect shape. So number 32, 33, my two absolute favorite eye brushes. Um, I also love the refer number 17. This is an old style. I don't even think they sell this style anymore. I've had it so long. Again, it's just dense, flat, um, not quite, um, kind of a kabuki style, I guess. I love this for patting on cream uh, bronzers and blushes. It's just really, um, it's really good at softening out the edges and I just kind of like stipple and do this kind of like dappling motion. Now, if I do want, and this is the number 17, if I do want more sweeping and soft, even sometimes with the cream, I will use one of their brushes, the, the 04, which has this kind of soft edge and I can kind of do a little more flicking um, to blend out the edges to get really soft edge, but usually I just use the number 17. Okay, another new brush that they have that I really like is their number 35, and this is a fat pencil brush. So this also I think is supposed to be a concealer brush, and um, I do use it if I put too much concealer um, under the eye. 
I really like this one for um, stippling in that concealer because it's firm enough to kind of lift up the excess product. I always have a black towel right down here, so I wipe off the excess um, and then continue um, stippling and blending out my concealer. So this is a number 35. Another one that I love is the number 26. This is a pointed pencil brush, and I like this because it's really good at softening the eyeliner underneath my eye. So I do like to wear liner under my eyes, and I like to have a real soft line, and this is really good at blending out those edges. Now, there are three sizes. This one's the number 26, which is my favorite, but they have three sizes of these pencil brushes. You have the middle one is the original, the three, and then the itty bitty one is the number 23. So you can see if you're trying to debate and you're looking at the pictures and you're like, well, everything looks exactly the same, you can see the differences in size of the point. And of course, I like 26 because it's big and soft. But these two all um, have their purposes also. Now, if I was just getting started and like, oh, I need a couple of brushes, not necessarily specialty brushes um, in general, what would you recommend from Refer? I would recommend either the O2 or the 28, which are just kind of a small powder or concealer brush. And the 28 is a little bit longer, a little bit thinner. It might have some synthetic hair in the 28 and the O2 is just, um, uh, natural goat hair and these brushes are made in Japan handmade in Japan But really I just reach for whichever one is clean um, when I'm uh, Doing that so each one of these little shader brushes are good for applying uh, eyeshadow or even applying um, your concealer Definitely smaller for more precise application uh, Then you would want a blender brush. These are great blender brushes. This is a number 15 it's a big soft blender brush the 27 is probably the one I would recommend the most. I think it's just the fluffiest of all of them. Uh, and then number one, it's not quite round, but it's a good all-purpose brush. This one can kind of go as a shader and as a blender. Uh, but again, if I had to pick one, I like the 27 for the big fluffy brush. Now, looking for other blending brushes, and here's the 13, it's really small. 14 is kind of middle, and then the 15 is the fluffiest. Any of those are great blender brushes. The 13 and 14 are more made, uh, designed for the hooded eyes because they are smaller, again, to be a little bit more precise um, in the corner or with your application. I'm not a very precise makeup application person, so I like, you know, kind of one and done sweeps and things like that. Then they also have, their, this is a new brush, the number 36. This is unique. This reminds me of one Ray Morris. Ray, I had a Ray Morris one that I love, but it, it has that angle. Again, it's big and fluffy, can be used as a big fluffy concealer brush. Again, good for kind of wiping away excess if you put too much concealer on. But this one also is really good um, blending right at the brow bone. Um, you just kind of sit it down, it kind of fits right in there. And so if you have trouble getting that graduated, real soft blend um, edge, you know, when you're transitioning from your lid or transition shade to your brow, this one is really good because there are a lot of bristles, so you can kind of really buff in that edge. Um, and again, this is the number 36. All right, base brushes. I'm just going to show you the difference. The 05 and the 24, both blush brushes. The 24 is a little more dense. Yeah, so it's a little more dense. Uh, the number 5 is a softer, fluffier blush brush. It's the one I do reach for a little bit more, but I, you know, really reach for whichever one is clean. The 24 might have been for more of a bronzer if you're actually putting bronzer around your face um, because it does have that um, more dense um, and a little firmer uh, bristles. Uh, for bronzer though, I also like the number 18. We already talked about the number four. The 18, you know, is, you know, just a small rounded brush and this kind of fits in for those bronzers right underneath the cheekbone. Okay, let's look at the granddaddy blushes because our 
brushes because these are the pricey ones. So these are the ones you have to buy at 40% off. And I love all of them. Um, so the 22, and I purchased all these. I didn't, I didn't get gifted all these. I paid, I think I bought this one at a 30 or 40% discount, the number 22. Um, I think they called this their bronzer brush, but at the time I bought it as a fluffy powder brush. It is definitely thicker and denser than now that they've come out with dedicated fluffy powder brushes, but it's really, really uh, soft and comfortable. Then they did come out with their dedicated powder. They're 25 and they're 30. 25, it's got more of that tapered head. Oh my goodness, these brushes are so soft. I mean, they are just beautiful. And that number 30 um, is the flatter head. It almost bends um, a little bit more. So if you want just the lightest of dusting um, with your powders, I would go for the 30. If you like to kind of, you know, make sure you're getting it in there to set or to blot shine, you may want to try the 25 or even the um, 22. So that's it. That's my summary of the refer brushes. There is no code. The it, sale starts, well, two hours from filming, probably right as this is uploading. So make sure you go check it out. It starts noon Eastern time. So 40% off site-wide. I hope you enjoyed this really quick video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.